One hour later You are what I waited for Oh, you make me touch the sky when I'm down Cause when I'm with you, I'm fine When you go, I'm sad I like my life with you
hours later. Hello everyone, I'm back for another video. For today's video is all about our use cultural mood of communication in Africa. Verbal communication in Africa, direct communication. Most South Africans have a direct style of communication. They generally speak confidently and straight to the point. Their intention and meaning is generally very self-evident. For example, a South African is likely to openly point out when you are wrong or disagree with you on the spot. This can come across as overly assertive or blunt. However, keep in mind that this is not the general intention. Moreover, they are likely to appreciate similar honesty and take offense to the ends as such. Race voices. Africaners and Black South Africans, particularly females, naturally tend to speak at a louder volume than those in the speaking English West. It is also normal for Black South Africans to continue conversations by shouting when situated at a distance from one another. For example, standing across the road or a room. Silence. Silence can be interpreted as a sign that the conversation is not engaging or that something is wrong. South Africans can grow uncomfortable with prolonged periods of silence and may not naturally speak to public, location, and formality. Communication may vary depending on the location, with more traditional approaches being used in the rural areas and people adapting more cosmopolitan approaches in urban areas, for example, African Africans people might find it very rude to refer elders without using the prefix "um" or "uncle," "tani" or "auntie" while in a small town. However, in our in an urban environment, they might simply use the formal manner "maru" or "joku," "Mister," "Mrs." or "Miss." When talking about older people. And that's the verbal communication in Africa. Now, let's proceed to non verbal communication in Africa. Physical contact. South Africans are generally comfortable with physical affection and like to express warmth through action, as such as hugging and patting each other in the back. A lack of physical contact can be interpreted as aloofness and friendliness. Ethnic groups may find it impolite to make gesture with the left hand. Black South Africans generally favor with the right hand. White South Africans are generally comfortable with using both left and right hands. Putting your hands in your pockets can be misinterpreted as disrespectful. Expression and body language. Black South Africans are very animated and communicate heavily through their facial expression and speaking. White South Africans generally make less use of hand gestures and conversation. Eye contact. South Africans tend to maintain steady eye contact throughout the duration of a conversation. However, Older South Africans may avert their eyes to show respect to authority. Personal space. Black South Africans often sit and stand very close to each other. Therefore, some may stand at proximities that a Westerner may consider to be uncomfortably close. It is likely they not have been made aware of this discomfort some people may feel with this. Gestures. Making V with the index finger and the middle finger in the shape of feet fist sign is very rude if your palm is facing towards yourself. Youth in South Africa sometimes use the sign known to the West as Shaka or Hang loose sign. Thumb and little finger extend and other fingers against the palm rock side to side to express hello or goodbye. 
pointing. It considered root to use your index of finger to point at. And that's the verbal and nonverbal communication in Africa. Now, always remember that it is important to greet everyone respectfully and immediately upon seeing them. This is especially important in the rural villages of South Africa, where it is respectful to greet everyone you pass by. The most common greeting is a handshake accompanied with eye contact and a smile. This is appropriate among most South Africans. Handshakes may be light or firm depending on the person you are greeting. People from rural villages may use two hands to shake or greet. And that's all. I hope you have learned and enjoy watching my video. Again, this is Cinderella Talamisan Leopardas, Bachelor of Elementary Education. Thanks for watching my video. Enjoy your day.